eating meat raises your libido, your desire for sex. This is not a joke. Everything we know about nutrition in this sick society is pretty much wrong. It has been over just about a month in the carnivore diet. Not the lion diet, which is the extreme side of it with just meat, salt and water. Haven't done that yet. I've done carnivore, which is eating meat, eggs and dairy. I've been in and out of dairy. I am experimenting with it because I wasn't having dairy before. Anyway, I've been doing intermittent fasting for a long time and I wasn't having any dairy except some cheese sometimes. I love the double cream in my coffee <laughs> in the mornings now and because I'm not looking at losing weight but just heal as I've said a million times, uh, dairy is a good friend for me <laughs> because I can get the fat, a lot of fat from there. But as I say, I think it triggers my rosacea. Um, I'm not sure it's doing well for me. So what I've been eating, you've seen in other videos, is mainly meat. One thing I want to say is that everything we know about nutrition in this sick society is pretty much wrong. The majority of people uh, feed themselves with uh, mainly carbohydrates and that is causing all the sickness and obesity that we that we can see around we need to learn the new science just a few points uh, it turns out in case you don't know that carbohydrates are not at all an essential nutrient for humans unlike the protein and fat but not carbohydrates we don't need them i've been a month without carbohydrates and I'm okay. By the way, there are lots of comments in my posts in social media about me not being healthy and, you know, telling me to eat. And, and I understand that because, you know, I've lost a lot of weight. And but I want to say I am healthy. I feel healthy. I am eating. <laughs> I am eating. I am eating meat. I'm trying to figure out this because I'm not completely happy with, you know, showing my ribs. Uh, I, I don't think that is nice, basically. But that's not something you figure out overnight. So I'm working on it. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate your concerns. Uh, but it's not coming from an, un an unhealthy position or an eating disorder. I haven't had, I had in the past, but in a long time past. I mean, I'm now nearly 50 and I haven't had it in disorders for, uh, for 20 years. I don't know. So it's, it was something in my teenage years and maybe in my early 20s um, that I dealt with that. Who doesn't deal with something like that at some point in their lives? So, yes, no concern there. But one thing you need to know, and I'm not a doctor, bloody obviously, but I've heard from doctors is that our brains need fat and not sugar. And most people are filling their brains with sugar. <laughs> and that's a mistake. That's wrong. That's unhealthy. And that's really, 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 really a ticket for a, a bad ride. So our brain needs fat. I'm eating fat and I'm eating protein. That's all I'm eating. And I'm functioning. And now the question, the main title of this video. Eating meat raises your libido, call it like that, your desire, your desire for sex. This is not a joke. I'm obviously, I can't certify that with literature, with scientific literature. I can't. I'm actually looking into bringing someone with, you know, this MDs in the name, PhD, HBC, XDZ, someone who can be trustable and reliable because, uh, because holding some official 
certificates. Someone who can certify that that is correct, because that's my experience. All I'm here to say is my experience. Obviously, I'm not giving any advice to anyone. I'm just telling what's happened to me and I have noticed it, right? So all these middle-aged uh, women and men, probably, who are in these sexless uh, marriages or, I, you know, I simply not bother to have any uh, sexual activity, well, you might be surprised if you start consuming more meat and less sugar. That's all I'm going to say in this video. Try it. Try it experience it do it well do it well the last thing i'll say is this so you need to learn and research because this is not about oh i'm gonna eat lots of meat and eggs and bacon and butter and fat but then i'm gonna keep eating bread and pizza and pasta no that that doesn't work that doesn't work like that that would be bad for you <laughs> So, please research. If you're interested in trying, there's loads of videos out there uh, for beginners, let's say, how to start uh, and all these things. I mean, you need, you need to research. I'm finding people telling me, oh, I want to do what you're doing. You're so lean and so fit and so you're losing, you know, the weight I want to lose. I'm going to do that. Okay, if you're going to do that, you need to inform yourself and find the right information and the right people. You don't just jump into something like that, you know, with with no knowledge, because you can you could do something that is not actually good for you. So information is power. Knowledge is power. And you have the power to change whatever you don't like in your life.